Hmm. I guess this isn't a natural geological formation, right, Brink? Look how close the stones fit. Like ancient Peruvian masonry. So it's primitive. There was nothing primitive about ancient Peruvian masonry, Commander Lo. Where are you going, Lo? I was gonna check for water. Or some way out of here. I think we should remain together. Fine. Follow me. This is no longer a space expedition, Lo. This is an archaeological dig. Therefore, I am the obvious leader. Ja, klar, die Männer klopfen sich wieder drum, wer führen darf. Fine. Whenever we need to dig something up, you can use the shovel. <laughs> In the meantime, our first business is to survive. Our second task is to get home. We need to work together, and I'm still the commander of this mission. You don't know any more about surviving on an alien world than I do. Boston is right, Ludger. He's the one with experience in survival, and we need someone in command. This is no time for a foolish power struggle. Thank you, Maggie. All right, I agree. For now. For now. Hmm. 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 Wusel. Das ist pixelig. Fantastic. Look. More proof of alien life. Do you think there's anyone or anything alive? It seems someone had to have been here. Let's hope they're peaceful. Or gone. Or gone. <laughs> Let's hope they're peaceful or gone. <laughs> ja, das ist genau dieses Gefühl. Ja. Das, war, das war auch noch Teil der Demo. Ja. Man lief also plötzlich so nach links und auf einmal tauchte da dieses Spaceship auf. Man sieht, dass es alles zerstört. Man sieht, diese Welt ist völlig desolat. Man hat keine Ahnung, was hier passiert ist. Aber irgendwas ist wohl passiert. Es ist keiner da, um sie zu begrüßen. Es ist niemand da. Was ist mit dieser Welt bloß passiert? Der Hammer. Let's enter the wreck. Can you tell anything about what these people look like from the interior of their ship? All this rust, corrosion, perhaps animals have moved things around. Hard to know what we're looking at. Let me look. Try not to disturb anything. Brink. Okay, but I never mind. Well, I don't see any treasure, but there is something in here. When we get back, the engineers are going to have a field day trying to figure out how this worked. Okay. It's indicating to the right. We might need this wire later. I'm gonna see if I can pull it down. First, shouldn't you turn the power off of the breaker box? What? That was a joke, Lo. Oh yeah. Ha. Huh. Stand back in case something comes down on our heads.
Look at it. It's beautiful. Changing shapes. Mathematical progressions of ever more complex polyhedrons. Next time I suggest pulling a wire. No, no, I'm glad you did. What could that have been? Not a random electrical discharge. Maybe it's a kind of computer display. Maybe to the aliens who piloted this ship it conveyed some meaningful information. But to me, it means absolutely, absolutely nothing. nothing. <laughs> so. It still might be useful. Und da hat auch das Ding irgendwas fallen lassen. Did any of you see? Was this here before that thing appeared? Of course it was. Do you think an electrical field can carry a solid object? Oh, you should know better, Lo. You're such an idiot. I hate people who are not as intelligent as I am. It's a rod. Engraved. Five geometric shapes. Mm -hmm. Brink. Oopsie. Yeah. What was that apparition? Ah, so much to learn and not a single piece of instrumentation. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for this much information. This alien technology is hopelessly ruined. Yeah, unfortunately. Or otherwise we could have used it to get home. But it cannot be that easy. Okay, let's check this one. Not just plants, but creatures too. I'm not an archaeologist, but these look like bones to me. <laughs> Good observation, Sherlock. But they are not lying where the animal died. They were placed here. Markers. A grave? Best guess. And now a home for those rat-like things. Hmm. Tja, wir haben ein Grab und wir haben eine Schaufel. <lacht> we have a grave and we have a shovel. What? Are you just going to dig right in? Ooh. With a shovel? You will destroy the site. I'm not doing archaeology right now, Brink. I'm looking for something to help get us home. Your name will live forever. As the bone-headed space hero who destroyed precious data at the first alien archaeological site. That's better than having my name live forever. As a commander of an expedition that disappeared and was never, never heard from again. <laughs> now get out of the way if you aren't going to help, Brink. This might take a while. Oh yeah. Wasn't Brink supposed to dig in? He said he could have the shovel. What a fine accomplishment, Commander. Now we have a pile of meaningless dirt and bones. Maybe not. You never know when an alien bone will prove useful. <laughs> you never know. Oh, there's a tusk. Okay. This is light, but it feels as strong as steel. They appear to be some sort of tusks. Oh, you don't say. And a jawbone. What do you think? Was this the skull of a sentient being? Or a pet? Or a beast of burden? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's dead. <laughs> it's a strange shaped jawbone. The teeth still look strong. Ooh, okay. Looks like some sort of saw. Can 
Damn it, let's look. Do you think we could climb this slope? No use. It doesn't go up all the way to the top. The engravings on this wall, are they writing or decoration? You're asking us? <laughs> yeah, you're the prodigy at learning new languages. <laughs> what the hell? Hmm. It seems to be pointing at this mound. Hmm. Small mound. And the shovel. <laughs> well, how glad are we that we took this shovel with, with us? With that device pointing at this mound, I suspect there might be something buried here. How scientific of you, Commander. <laughs> I mean, Brink is an arrogant dick, but he's funny at Another some random points. hole bulldozed by our fearless <laughs> leader. <laughs> bulldozed. <laughs> Maybe not. I thought I saw something shining. An artifact. A bracelet. It looks like a bracelet. To Maggie? I wouldn't mind wearing it, but it's too small for my wrist. Oh, even too small for her wrist. Okay. So, nothing more here. Let's get back to the clearing. I think we can safely say this is not a natural weather phenomenon. <laughs> How about a mirage? Anyone voting for it being a mirage? It knew we were here. It was trying to tell us something. Or show us something. Don't be too quick to anthropomorphize. How do we know what life looks like here? It might be alive. Or it might be some kind of automatic guidance system. We triggered it in that ruined ship, and now it's leading us. You mean this is the last gasp of a holographic tour guide? <laughs> or the Port Authority. Maybe it's telling us we're under arrest. Come quietly, or self-aiming lasers will toast us to cinders in 15 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Stop it. Maybe you can think that's funny, but the last thing I need is some mischievous boy trying to give me the creeps. If I wanted to give you the creeps... I'd tell you that it was the ghost of a long-dead alien. How do you know it isn't a ghost? What? You think this is where aliens end up when they die? If it is, then this place better be hell, because it sure isn't my idea of heaven. Now you're starting to give me the creeps. Well, there's a small hole, and we have a shovel. I'm gonna see if I can enlarge the hole. Maybe there's something under here. Yeah, maybe something lives down in that hole. <laughs> the utterances of experts. Oh, 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 oh you're so bourgeois. Frank, <laughs> do you please shut up? This the ground is soft here. To be the dick. Loose. I think this used to be an opening, and over the years, wind has filled it up with sand and dirt. Here, let me see. Yes, that's right. You're probably right. That means the ground is treacherous. It could be hollow under there. Commander, I think it's time for an archaeologist to do the digging. Step aside. I'm used to dealing with drifted soil. The shovel is yours, Brink. Just be careful. The ground's pretty unstable. My feet kept sinking. My whole training is to be careful. Not to charge in with guns blazing. <laughs> Finally, a good use for my extensive training. <sighs> Finally.
No, it's completely. I can't. No. Ah! Break. I couldn't get to him in time. I couldn't. It happened too fast. Can we get down there? How long a drop is it? Looks like the rubble has formed a ramp. Follow me. Here he is. He's not moving. Brink. Boston. He's dead. Yes! <laughs> Finally! I should have been uh. digging. Then you'd be the dead one. Just took one fall. It was my responsibility to make to him do. shut up. Brink and I are not children or trained monkeys. We're responsible adults. It could have been any of us, and there's not a thing you could have done to prevent it. But I... to lose Brink, and we've only been up here. Look, you can't keep me safe, and I can't keep you safe. So there's no particular reason for us to stay together. Our odds of getting back to Earth are better if we work separately on figuring this place out. I don't like the idea of splitting up. Why? Because we're safer together? <laughs> ask ask about. Brink about that. Yeah, ask him. Because maybe I won't know what I'm seeing without you to help me understand it. If you find something interesting, the communicators still work. Till then, adios. Ciao. Sayonara. Avidar Zane. Oh, she speaks German. Maggie, it's against every rule of military action for an officer to be separated from his command. Boston, this isn't a military action. And you don't have a command. There's just you and me. And we both know exactly the same amount about this situation. Which is to say, nada. Nothing. <laughs> Zip. If we suddenly find ourselves facing an army, then you're in command again. <laughs> Until then, adios. <laughs> Ciao. Sayonara. A Zane. Nobody likes you when you smart off like that. <laughs> yeah, key. Yeah. All my psychological tests as a kid said that I didn't work well with others. So this is what failure feels like. Mm -hmm. Oh, the guilt. The guilt pressing down on our shoulders. Oh, at least we have the shovel back. <laughs> you could be irritating sometimes, but you sure didn't deserve to die. It's true about that. So, let's have a look around. I don't think I want to kick this door in. Hmm. A panel. So too, okay, obviously too many combination possibilities to just try something out. Well, that probably wouldn't hurt too. The plants seem to draw energy from my body and disperse it among all the plants. Mm -hmm. They must share a common root system. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've got a lamp. Can't reach it. Oh, it's an airlock. Okay.
This looks like a command center. There's a crystalline tube stretching across the bottom of the sea. Mm -hmm. Looks like some sort of transport system. Well, Maggie just went off to have a look around by herself. I see many undersea tunnels, all leading from the large central island to the smaller islands. Okay, let's have a look at the glowing panel. This crystal is lifeless. Hmm. It's an energized crystal. This hole is empty. This hole is empty. This crystal is lifeless. Another one of these engraved sticks. What are they? Wands? Batons? Bludgeons? Maybe some kind of handheld computer game. With my luck, it's a hand grenade. <laughs> Cubes. Okay, let's try it. Yeah, that was this one. This one. Mm, nothing happens as well. Okay, we'll just try this as well. Totally cool. These shapes just morphing.
No, nothing. Okay, obviously there's something missing. Somebody spent a long time engraving these smooth grooves on the surface of this column. I wish I knew what for. Okay, we have one more. be missing oh, let's go down here It's hot here, and it's glowing down there. Whoa. Ten to one, it's the power source for this place. All I need to do now is to find the light switch. Hmm. Or the plug. Or the fuse box. Or whatever makes this thing work. An instruction manual might help. <laughs> Maybe a map. I could use a sandwich and a hot jukebox and a cold beer or just a starship headed for home.
No. Okay, that was like one of maybe three.